this thing, I feel like every filmmaker should have this in their toolkit. Today we're going to talk about how I was able to capture these shots, what I use, uh, the camera rig, the lenses, the lighting, if any, and how you can do the same thing with probably everything that you already own. I wanted to get that classic, but still very popular, car riding setup. It's a beautiful shot. Every time I see it, I'm just drawn in. You know, it's like you're right there with the characters, even though you're on the outside of the car. But it's a really cool shot. Anyway, as a filmmaker, if you can add this type of shot to your arsenal, it has the potential to really raise your production value. I use the Delkin Gecko mount, which is really a versatile tool. These are the two suctions uh, that stick to your car. You lock it down with these two mechanisms right here. And after you strap it down to your car, um, that's pretty much it. And what's really cool about this is because it's so versatile, you can mount it pretty much anywhere on your car, on the roof of the car, on the hood, on the side of the car, just about anywhere. So that's what I did. I mounted the camera, found the right lenses, and I got an idea of the types of shots that I wanted to capture. All that was left to do at that point was, was ride. I used the Sigma FP for one reason and you know I own the Sigma FP and the 6k Pro and so when I'm gearing up for another project I have to decide which camera I'm going to use and there was one thing one thing that made me choose the Sigma FP over the 6k Pro just one thing and that was the weight my mount is not that big and so it's not going to hold a ton of weight so when I strip down the Sigma FP and what I mean by stripping down is no monitor no matte box no filter in the matte box um, essentially it was just the camera body the cage and the lens this was able to support that really with ease I use the Canon FD lenses because they already kind of have that soft look to them and so that was how I was able to keep my setup really light Okay, so what did I learn? Um, well, a few things, right? Uh, one of them is that mounting the camera is the easy part. Driving was the hard part. And mainly because of the public. I talked a little bit about this in another video, shooting in public, people have a tendency to be curious. And so they're gonna look, they're gonna stare, they're gonna point, mainly because you have a camera sitting on the hood of your car. And so you have to kind of, you know, get over that pointing and staring um, and just focus on your shoot. The other thing I learned is that it takes a few rounds and a few minutes to get over the fact that you have a camera hanging from your car. Even though you have it strapped down, even though you have it mounted well, uh, it still feels like it's gonna fall. I mean, it, it doesn't feel normal. And so it takes a minute to kind of get into the groove and trust your mounting skills. <laughs> Once you get past that, then you can kind of focus on, on, on what you're supposed to be doing. Get into the groove a little bit. What else? Um, uh, lighting. So I knew this would be kind of a challenge, uh, which is the primary reason why I chose to shoot in downtown. And I live in downtown Houston, so there was plenty of beautiful ambient light to bounce off of the car, fall into the car. Um, and I'll admit, when it came to lighting inside the car, you know, I, I, I probably could have given a little more attention to lighting inside the car, but I will say that when you look on most movies and professional shoots, there's not a ton of manicured lighting inside the car. Not in every case. In some cases there are, but not in every case. It's more so going to these locations and letting the ambient light that's on the outside of the car fall into the car at different points. And so there are times when the characters 
may fall into darkness and then they ride into the light and they fall into darkness and they ride into the light like it's it's okay now granted some of these professional shoots you know they have the streets shut down they have lights staged at different points along the route so there's that but you don't always have to have this beautifully manicured light on the inside like it actually looks natural for characters to be riding at night and their faces are dark like don't be afraid of the dark anything else um oh there was this one tip you know when i was shooting so this part of your your mount is attached to your car and these are the hinges right to help reduce the the bouncing that you'll see let's say you have it mounted to the side of your car this would be a setup that would produce a lot of bouncing just because of gravity and physics right so it might be more helpful to tilt it up and then use it like that if it's on the side of your car um, and this will help reduce the bouncing just because of leverage and how, how far it's extended out and all that good stuff so that was shooting at night i want to shoot in the day but first i need to polarize a filter and when i do that i'll let you check it out for now these are my results when trying out this camera mount does it look like it could be in a movie i think it does <laughs> be blessed stay inspired and always shoot for the difference <laughs>